about the melody to come by here also known as kumbaya it's the next melody in our mel bay modern guitar method uh, grade one series so let's talk about the melody it, it has similar c major features um as does michael row the boat ashore which we talked about yesterday so instead of doing it finger style, I decided to pick up the pick and do something a little bit different with it. This is one that um, is meant to be sung. And one of the challenges that playing the melody on the guitar really brings is the amount of space that's there. Because again, this isn't one that we are normally going to charge through and play pretty fast. So those long notes, those tied notes, um, and get quite a bit of time. So we do have to make sure that we are picking the string in a way that it that the sound actually lasts for as long as it's supposed to. And even in my example, I, I think that there was there was one time that I didn't quite hit it as at the same like volume that I wanted to. And you can kind of hear the, the sound diminishing. So this is one that it's super important to be counting. And it's also really helpful to have the accompaniment part behind you because that can help uh, keep track of where the beat is. But even when I was playing through the melody, you saw that I was still moving to the beat inside of my head. So that's like that. Those are the things to be thinking about. So again, we, we have our pickups on three and four. Obviously, when I'm playing when I'm playing through that melody, I'm not going to be um, specifically counting it out loud like I was, but just to just to have that internal beat going. Next, what I'm going to do is I am going to play the accompaniment part through, give you the opportunity to play along, and I'm also going to sing the melody uh, this time without uh, without lyrics. One, two, do da 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 da
to jam out with you for just a second. So it's very similar to what I was talking about um, yesterday with our with our previous video about listening to the music and part of part of our job as musicians is to obviously be playing the right notes at the right time and to get good tone and all of that and that's what we talked about with uh, with this piece so far but the the other part of musicianship and learning the music isn't isn't just being able to sing the song and play it and be able to play the melody and play it correctly and all that it's about knowing where the song came from and really saying i want to get invested in listening to music and learning more about the history of where some of these songs come from and why the song is such a favorite guitar song why it's a piece that every guitar player should know it would be such an easy piece um in the book to just say okay it's a really great folk song and just kind of and just to leave it at that and to be like okay it's that uh it's that song that everybody plays but uh I think that it's really important to have a really good interpretation of the song. If you're actually going to learn the song and you're actually going to do it, um, you might as well do it right. So instead of talking about uh, a lot of the, the history of the piece, instead in the description I've linked a, uh, a video uh, with Professor Oral Moses from Kenshaw State University. Um, talking about the history of the song, the way that the song should be sung, and the interpretation of how um, how the piece Come By Here turned into the words Kumbaya, uh, the words that we all are familiar with uh, at this point with this song. So that's linked in the description. I hope you have fun with that. Like I was saying, part of our, part of our work as musicians is being able to play the stuff, but the other part is going out there and really getting involved and really finding out where these things come from. So can continue that journey, continue journeying these songs um, because they are important and learning them correctly isn't just all about, uh, like I was saying, playing the right notes. It's sometimes it's about uh, learning the history too. And having fun with uh having fun with that stuff so i will see you next time i hope you're having a great day and i'll talk to you soon thanks bye